self-awareness, humility, and pride. You can find a healthy working balance so you can wake up every morning feeling motivated and energized and go to sleep every night feeling deeply fulfilled. Welcome to episode one of the Bites of Judaism podcast with Rabbi Yisrael Glick, helping you unlock your best life. Know your why and be everything you were born to be. To subscribe to the podcast, go to rabbiglick.link slash podcast. This podcast has been made possible by Mr. and Mrs. David and Malki Smetana. This episode is dedicated in loving memory and Le'ilu Nishmas Rafal Baruch Sev Ben Yehuda Aryeh. To dedicate an episode of this podcast, send an email to podcast at rabbiglick.com. Literally since it began, Judaism has always been about being both humble and proud. Now, pride and humility can seem like opposites, and they can be, but they definitely don't necessarily need to be. As soon as we understand clearly what real humility is and what healthy pride is, there's no reason that we can't have both at the same time. When it comes to pride, there obviously are some forms of pride that are less healthy than others. And the truth is, when it comes to those, it's not necessarily so hard to tell the difference and to know which is which. When it comes to humility, there is a lot of misunderstanding about the nature of true humility. And it's important to understand what real humility is. Humility does not mean thinking lowly of ourselves. If it did, it would be impossible for a gifted or capable or talented person to be both humble and honest. True humility is not so much about what we think of ourselves. It's much more about the context in which we see ourselves. Being humble does not mean that we think we are not gifted or capable or even great or exceptional. Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, was the greatest teacher and leader who ever lived and also the most humble person to ever walk the face of the earth. How could it possibly be that the greatest teacher and leader humanity has ever seen was also the most humble person that's ever lived? Did he not realize who and what he was? Moses was well aware of exactly how unusually capable he was, but he was also very clearly aware of the context aware of the bigger picture. He understood very clearly that those talents were gifts from the Creator and that they meant he had a very important role to play in the universe, in the existence of mankind and Judaism, and in realizing the purpose of all existence. Humility isn't about what we think of ourselves. It's about the context in which we see ourselves. We can be keenly self-aware We can know exactly how gifted we are, how talented and capable we are, and perhaps even how great our achievements are. There's no contradiction between being aware of ourselves and our achievements, and those may be very great, we may be gifted and capable, and we may have achieved phenomenal things, and we can be aware of those and still be humble. Because if together with that awareness, we're aware of the bigger picture that we fit into. We're aware that we are an important but small part of a big universe with an infinite purpose. A universe in which the Creator has given everything, every person, every individual a role to play. A unique role to play. And the gifts that the Creator has given us were for a purpose. So that we would be able to integrate divinity into the world, making the universe a better place. We can be very self-aware and aware of the things that we have that we can and should be proud of while still being humble because we see and are aware of the bigger picture that it fits into. We can and should be keenly self-aware. We can and should be humble and we can and should be proud and we can and should be and have all of those three things at the same time. Know that you are here for a reason. Know that you are a part of something infinite and infinitely great. You have a unique and irreplaceable role to play on behalf of the Creator. Yes, you should be aware of your strengths and your gifts, because when you are, you'll be able to make the most of them, bringing the maximum benefit to yourself, your environment, and to the entire universe and to the Creator. And yes, you should also feel proud, proud that you were created in the image of God, Proud that you stand for the truth and proud that your actions do make a difference. This is why one of this week's Torah portions is called Bahar. Bahar means at the mountain and it's a reference to Mount Sinai, Har Sinai. God chose to give us the Torah, his guidelines, directions and instructions to us specifically on Mount Sinai, a small mountain. 
Because as a small mountain, Mount Sinai represents the combination of pride and humility together at the same time. And it's that healthy combination of humility and pride together, as represented by Mount Sinai, that form the foundation and basis of the ultimate, most rewarding, most fulfilling, and most Torah true life. Torah was given on a mountain because we can and should be proud of who we are and what we stand for. It was given specifically on a small mountain to remind us that as important as we are, we are relatively speaking a very small part of something infinitely larger and greater than ourselves. And the more we focus on that bigger picture rather than on ourselves, the greater the degree to which we become a part of something greater and larger than ourselves, part of something infinite. Mount Sinai teaches us that we can be both profoundly humble and truly proud at the same time. And as we work one day at a time, one baby step at a time at developing that balance, our humility and our pride together will keep us healthy and on track. So we can wake up every morning feeling energized and motivated and go to sleep every night feeling deeply fulfilled. This has been episode one of the Bites of Judaism podcast. If you haven't subscribed yet, go to rabbiglick.link slash podcast to subscribe on whichever platform you use to listen to podcasts. It's on all of them. This episode is dedicated Le'ilu Nishmas Rafal Baruch Zev Ben Yehuda Aryeh to dedicate a future episode, be in touch at podcast at rabbiglick.com. See you next week.